Oh, you thought I was gonna be gone forever. Let me know how you guys think this sounds. And we're gonna start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, and welcome to the new and improved Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you love Destiny and learning all things about the game, then subscribe and click on the bell. That way you guys don't miss out on anything. Now, I do apologize because I have been gone for a few weeks and I will be doing a video within the next couple of days to actually give you guys an understanding of what had happened. But until then, we are actually going to go ahead with this week's wonderful weekly reset. Starting off, we are going to go with the milestones. First off, we have Nightfall. This week's Nightfall is the Inverted Spire. Next, we have Leviathan, which you need to complete the raid or the raid lair. Then we have Call to Arms, which you win glory by participating in Crucible matches. Then we have Clan XP, which you earn Clan XP in Strikes, Raids, the Crucible, or World Activities. Next, the Flashpoint for this week is on Titan. And if you complete the heroic versions of the Flashpoints, then you get it done a lot faster. Then we have Crucible Challenges, which you need to complete three challenges in the Crucible. And last but not least, we have Heroic Strikes, which you need to complete three Heroic Strikes. Now, I have not played Destiny since before Update 1.1.4 has actually gone live. So, I am going to have to spend a lot of time testing this update out and giving you guys my opinion on how I feel. With this, we'll be coming new videos for subclasses, weapons, and even the changes that actually have come with update 1.1.4. So, let's see what Tess Everest has this week at Eververse. Welcome, Guardian. Starting with the emotes, we have You're the Guardian. Then we have Dancy Dance. Next, for the speeder, we have Shark Light. Actually, it looks pretty cool to me. Then we have Hardtop Regent for the ship. Yet again, another reskin. For the ornaments, we have Down to Business for the Sweet Business. Gives a little bit of that wood grain to it. Then we have War Beast skin for that wonderful Legend of Acreus. This actually makes it look like badass. Next we have Gothic Horror for the Karnstein armlets. And I'm not a fan of the Karnstein armlets. At least not anymore. That's pretty much what it looks like. For the Ghost, we have the Dolphin Wave Shell. And then we have your Reflection Effects for your Transmat Effect. And unfortunately, we still cannot actually, like, view that. Next, for the Shaders, we have the Hawkeye History Polish. And this is pretty much what it looks like. And then we have the Soros Modular Shine. I think I'm going to start wearing this uh, from now on, on some of my uh, gear. And last but not least, we have your Fire Team Medallion, Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, as well as Gleaming Boon of the Crucible. Don't forget to visit Kate 6 like this guy right here. He has the right idea. Treasure maps for this week will be on, if I'm correct, Titan. And you can go ahead and purchase all of these wonderful treasure maps for 4800 Glimmer. So, there are tons and tons and tons of things that I want to continue to do with the channel in order to help it grow, as well as change a whole bunch of things in the channel. If you guys have not noticed yet, I did go back to my very first um, logo that I did have for the channel, just because I feel like I had to bring some originality back to the channel. But like I did say, I will let you guys know what did go on with the channel and why I have not been making videos, and I will do that in the next video.
And if you guys enjoyed this Destiny 2 video, then feel free to watch these other two videos. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.